we are going to talk about decimal fractions in this video. Now before we go ahead let's talk about fractions. What is a fraction? Well a fraction is a number in the form of a by b. Anything in the form of numerator upon denominator is a fraction. Now what is a decimal fraction? Well a decimal fraction is a fraction where this b takes powers of 10. When I say that b takes powers of 10 that means b takes values of 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and so on. Essentially the powers of 10. So let me write it. Fractions where denominators are powers of 10 are known as decimal fractions. So a few examples of these fractions are I have 2 by 10, let's say 3 by 100 or I would say 5 by 10,000. So these are all decimal fractions. Now we can also say that decimal fractions are numbers with a decimal point because these numbers can be essentially converted to numbers with a decimal point like if I can write 3 by 100 as 0 0.03. So I can comfortably say that those numbers with a decimal point can also be termed as decimal fractions. A few examples are 0 0.2, 0 0.03, 5.1 and so on. Now find out which of these following numbers are decimal fractions. Well if you look at our definitions fractions where denominators are powers of 10 are decimal fractions. So this option 9 by 10 is a decimal fraction. 5 by 6 is not a decimal fraction because the denominator is not a power of 10. Now numbers with a decimal point are also decimal fractions. So numbers with decimal points are 3.01 and 3.1. So these are decimal fractions. Okay, we know that numbers with a decimal point are also decimal fractions. If I say 0 0.2, it is a number with a decimal point. But there is there are no recurring numbers after the decimal point. So recurring decimals are those numbers with a decimal point where there are repeating numbers after the decimal point. Repeating numbers or a set of numbers after the decimal point. So examples of recurring decimals are like 0 0.33333 3 is going on forever. So let me write the definition. Recurring decimals are those numbers which have repeating numbers after the decimal point. Now there is a way of writing recurring decimals. If for example if I take 1.252525 so here a set of numbers is repeating. 25 is repeating forever. So this can be written as 1.25 with a bar. Or if there is a single digit which is, rep which is repeating forever like 1.2222 which is the number 2 is repeating it can be written as 1.2 with a dot over the head of 2. So this way recurring decimals are represented. Now recurring decimals can be of two types. One can be purely recurring decimals and another can be mixed recurring decimals. Let me write the examples of each of these so it is much more clear for you. So the example of purely recurring decimal is 1.3333 3 goes on forever. That is 1.3 a dot over the head of 3. An example of mixed recurring decimals is 1.7, then we have 2, then we have 3, 3, 3, 3. So in this case, 7 and 2 are not repeating, but the number 3, the digit 3, is repeating forever. So it is written as 1.72, 3, and a dot over the head of 3. So purely recurring decimals are those numbers where the repetition starts immediately after the decimal point. That means after the decimal point all of those numbers are repeating. Whereas in case of mixed recurring decimals some of the numbers or some of the digits I would rather say do not repeat after the decimal point. There may be some numbers which are not repetitive after the decimal point.